In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install OpenVPN server on your Ubuntu server. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm very much excited for this video because it's my favorite topic and uh, once I got to know that there is a web-based OpenVPN server that you can install on your Ubuntu server, I was like, seriously? Because when we've been using these kind of servers they were all command line so for now for the installation you need a few commands and once the server is installed for creating the client's account you don't need the, uh, to type the commands you can do that on the uh, web portal that is amazing that sounds amazing okay so step number one app update what operation oh not <laughs> update <laughs> that was funny okay so app update and then apt upgrade uh everything is good uh, learn more about ubuntu pro oh okay i will i will all right so update and upgrade went fine now we are going to add the access server repository so basically it's called openvpn access server so it's going to be openvpn as so that sounds like as but you're going to see that okay so you can get the commands in the description of this video so first of all uh, I can I can tell you step by step so we are going to add this gpg key and this repository address to the etsy apt sources list and we are creating a file openvpn-as.list and also we are adding a key here or maybe in the next command okay so i'm gonna hit enter uh okay so this is uh yeah this is not an error okay so it went through and then the next command i think we're copying the key in uh, yeah so we are downloading this repository the public gpg and it's going to be this key the open vpn as dot jpg dot key hit enter okay now we can see the we have this key okay and the third thing which is going to be uh installation of uh, certificates ca certificates so you can consider this uh the ssl certificate creator so apt install apt transport that dash https dash c uh, space ca dash certificates okay uh 170 kb okay no problem you can take that space i have plenty all right so after that i'm going to update this one more time because i added uh the keys apt update and i hope it will update successfully without any errors boom there you go okay and the next thing I'm going to install OpenVPN access server. apt install open VPN. Uh, am I typing it right? apt install open VPN dash as access server. And then it's gonna require almost 500 MBs of additional disk space. I said yes all right it looks like the installation was not successful or maybe it was because i was not seeing the ip address and the and the uh, username and the password well here it is you can see access server web uis are available here so this is for the admin and uh client ui is this address and then I can uh, use OpenVPN. Uh, it, it's going to be the admin account and with the this password. 
if you want to use this password you can stick with that one or if you want to change that you can update the password of uh, this user open vpn open this web link okay and it says the connection okay yeah because of the ssl certificates so you, you can just proceed with unsafe and the username was open vpn sign in and then you have to like scroll down to the end and pretend you accepted everything and if you want to read that it's up to you but you are accepting everything the software is provided is as without warranty of any kind okay agree and then you can see here uh under user management you can go to the user permissions and so now we have uh this account which is admin and uh, you can create a new username uh let's say let's create new one uh open vpn new and then uh we are going to like we don't have any kind of group so it says no default group and then save settings and now you can see we have uh open vpn new user added you can see it here and then uh after that we're going to update the running service running server and uh, now we have this account so if we go to this address because that that's the address for the clients right uh what is that yeah uh 943 yeah this is the address for the clients okay so open vpn new this is the account we created right and uh what's the password we did not add any password so we are going to edit this and we can set a password and uh there are more options but we can discuss that in any other video but right now i'm just going to show you this open vpn new oh well i forgot to uh, permissions unchanged no setting modified why why not <laughs> uh maybe the password was too short save settings uh for one user okay so now I think I would be able to log in because the password was like four four alphabets. Okay, so it automatically detected that uh, I'm using the Windows. So I can download the client uh, by logging into the access server, and also it's going to be with the profile. Or if I already have the client for OpenVPN, I can just download the connection profile. But this is the good option. If, if you don't have uh, the OpenVPN client, you can just download and it will automatically have everything in the configuration. So let, let's just in, install this. Let me show you everything okay so windows protected more info run anyway open vpn accept install the server okay, and then you're going to click on finish agree and then you can see this account i did not do anything i even did not pause the video recording you can see open vpn profile is open vpn new the user i created here so if i click on that and type here the password let's do that okay it's connecting taking some time yeah there you go now i am connected with this one so that's it for today i think so this was the first video of uh, related to the vpns and this is one of my favorite vpn the open vpn because it's secure and it's, it's good uh, it's amazing but there are more as well uh, i'm going to create more videos on l2tp pptp and uh, there are wireguard and uh, ipsec i guess 
so uh, there's going to be more on the vpn servers stay connected stay tuned and also i'll create another video uh, if you want to use the open vpn uh, with the command line i'll create uh, a video for that as well so yeah that's it for today thank you so much for watching the video and if you like the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video bye bye